What's good, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. It has been about a month since our last chapter of Kaiju number eight, so I'm gassed to be here talking about chapter 93 with y'all. And all I got to say is, our boy Hoshina turned into Zoro today with the Onigiri. But he's not the only one swagged out, bruh. I still got 500,000 on the neck in Kaiju merchandise. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get Come on, bro, let's get into it. <laughs> so I gotta start off by saying that chapter 93 of Kaiju number 8 might be one of my favorite chapters ever in this series. I was blown away by the amount of amazing action panel shots that we got in this chapter. You can tell, not only just because of my bias, that the ending to this fight was the best conclusion of any fight that we have gotten in the war so far. And it's not close. And I would honestly go on a limb to say that Hoshina has one of the best conclusions to any fight that we have seen in this series so far. To see Hoshina and Kaiju number 10 sync up at 100% success, and then also have that surprise finish ending to take out number 12, whew, let's just talk about it from start to finish. So we basically start off this chapter seeing Hoshina realize that, A, even though we're at 100% sync rate right now, Kaiju number 12 still has the ability to replicate everything that we're doing. So we have to one-shot this thing in order to defeat it without getting taken out in the meantime. He tells number 10 to read his thoughts, which was an amazing sight to see, bro. This is a different Hoshina than what we've ever seen before. And I think one of my favorite parts about this evolution with Hoshina is just kind of seeing this newfound confidence that bro has in himself now. Because right before he took that initial attack at number 12, he kind of looked down a little bit and let off that slight smile. And that smile said everything that you needed to know about this chapter moving forward, dog. Because Hoshina is not only about to have fun swinging the blade, but bro has unwavering confidence in himself now. He knows that regardless of what 10 does, the plan that he has come up with is not going to be beat by number 10 because he's just a cheap replica, exactly like Hoshina has been saying this whole time. Hoshina starts off the fight by getting up close to number 12 and taking one cut at number 12's chest and completely leaves a gaping slash going through number 12 and then maneuvers his way towards the pods that are holding all of his swords. Except instead of grabbing one sword this time, Hoshina pulls out his double swords and then we see the camera pan out and not only does Hoshina have the double swords but kaiju number 10 is holding a sword in its tail and come on yo we've been saying for months months that kaiju number 10 was going to end up being the third blade and it was going to be a zoro three sword style but i did not think that kaiju number 10 was literally going to be holding a blade I thought that the tail was just gonna be a blade itself. So it was badass to see Kaiju number 10 holding a blade, ready to fight alongside Hoshina. And hey dog, I'm gonna keep it a stack. By the time that Hoshina and Kaiju number 10 got that third blade and they were at 100% output, it was over for Kaiju number 12, G. Because if y'all saw those next panels afterwards, in the time that it took Kaiju number 12 to throw one single sword swing, which is supposed to be faster than the double blades. By the time it took him to throw one swing, Hoshina had already cut off an arm, both arms, one leg, and had started opening up bro's chest. It's over for you, Kaiju number 12. I'm sorry, man. I kind of started feeling bad for bro. It's not your fault, Kaiju number 12. It's not plot armor. We're just better. Simple. And once Hoshina started exposing Kaiju number 12's chest, that is when we saw Hoshina and Ten go for a basic all-out assault against Kaiju number 12. And the irony in Hoshina unveiling his new technique to be the 12-layered slash while fighting against Kaiju number 12 was chef's kiss, dog. Mwah, come on. Come on, Matsumoto. Keep doing your thing. And on top of that, it's almost like Hoshina ain't Hoshina no more. He kind of looked like... Giorno Giovanna, the way that he mulled freaking Kaiju number 12 in the chest 12 times in rapid succession like that. But that's when we basically get to the culmination of this chapter. That 12 layered slash ends up finally exposing Kaiju number 12's core, which is actually in his neck. And Hoshina goes for the final blow to that core. But Kaiju number 12 actually ends up blocking it with a last ditch effort. And that's when Hoshina and 10, or I mean 12, meet face to face, and it was a dope drawn panel. 
seeing the relief almost on Kaiju number 12's face that it stopped Hoshina's final attack going at his core while Hoshina looking at 12 knowing that he finally won this fight. He looks at Kaiju number 12 and says, Kaiju, I win. And he says that he basically learned through this fight, Hoshina is just better off being the middleman than anything. As Kaiju number 10's unleashed tail, disconnected tail, I don't know what word you want to use. I don't think that Kaiju number 12 cut the tail off though. It almost seemed like a lizard and how lizards can detach their tails. To me, it seemed like Kaiju number 12, I mean 10, detached its tail while in a mid attack from Hoshina. And then that detached tail came swinging down from the sky and swung and struck the core that was in Kaiju number 12's neck. And this was just an amazing ending to this fight. Amazing ending to this fight. I feel like there have been a lot of complaints from people in the community talking about how this fight's been going on long, talking about the war this, the war that. Bro, sometimes you just have to appreciate greatness as you're getting it. And this Hoshina versus Kaiju number 12 fight was one of the best fights in this manga, dog. When this moment gets animated, I, I literally just got goosebumps saying those words. This will be one of the best moments in the Kaiju number eight animation series. But nah, man, that was basically the end of the fight. It was a quick read and it was hype to see Hoshina do what Hoshina does. And now we're finally about to start getting back towards other parts of this war, which I'm excited for, dog. I feel like the three big characters that we knew were going to be the early fights for this series were Narumi, Kikoro, and Hoshina. Seeing Kafka in the meantime was a nice little plus, but I really want to see what is going on with our girl Mina Ashura. She is facing off against that three-faced looking kaiju, and we have not gotten any updates from Mina, bro. That is not a good sign for Mina, and I think that it also is not a good sign for Mina because our first three fights, while they might have been close, except for Narumi, Narumi was winning that for sure. But while those first three fights might have been close, actually I'll say four if we're also including Kafka, there's no way that this fifth fight is going to be going as good as these other four fights have gone, bro. Kikoro, Kafka, Narumi, and Hoshina all had dubs. I could very much so seeing Mina being the one person that is struggling. And that's why we've had check-ins with other characters outside of just those main people, bro. We also saw Ren Shinonome's platoon get decimated, and that's why Kafka had to step in. There have been no updates from Mina. You're really telling me you think that's a good thing? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not going to make any speculations. We're getting a chapter in a couple of weeks, and we're also going to end up getting some more anime news coming up here soon. So, nah, man. I'm very hyped. We're in good times with Kaiju. I'm rambling. So I'm about to log off of this. Um, be on the lookout on the channel in the next couple of days. I'm dropping a, not a chapter review for Sakamoto Days, but I'm going to be talking about the newest sniper that just got revealed in the order. If you know, you know. So other than that, y'all, as always, arigato if you watch this video and enjoy. And bro, leave a like, leave a comment. If you made it to the end of the video, you might as well show some love. I'll catch y'all later, y'all. Peace.